Hello there, Reject Nation. Look who's back on the channel. It's me, Kat Alvarado. Kat what? Alvarado. Oh, my, I'm so happy to have you here, Kat. She is the first female guest, other than my girlfriend, of course, to come here because she is extremely, extremely strict with the COVID. You know what? Why do I even preface it with that? Who even cares anymore? It's me. She's out there licking everyone all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Make people licking her. Just let her be here. <laughs> right. It's great. I'm covered in slobber and smoke particles. And I was like, screw it. Come on in. Fans miss you. Because Halloween is upon us and people still watch our videos from the past that yeah. are the scary videos, we're gonna watch from Slatam, Creepiest Ooh. Things Caught on Live TV. Let's do it. But before we do that, Kat, you have a podcast coming back, don't you? I do. If you like creepy stuff, I'll listen to my podcast, Villains of History. It's coming back. It's on all the podcast places. It's about bad people from history and all the horrible stuff they did. Yeah, it's really fun. I was on an ep I was on two episodes. Yeah, and we make it funny. Yeah. It's not just sad. Nah, it depends. <laughs> you know what's sad? My love life. Beyond that, <laughs> that's just one of the top ones. <laughs> I talked with Kat uh, several text exchanges on September third, and you know what? <gasps> I forgot. <laughs> Now, oh my god! This is more of a conversation oh you should god. have off camera. I wanted to make you look bad on camera, which in turn makes me look bad. We're both equal now. <laughs> That's equality in 2020. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm the worst. You even messaged me on Instagram off of one of my birthday presents like, did you lose more weight? <laughs> Part of me was like, it's kind of odd that we've talked a lot. <laughs> you didn't even wish me happy birthday. <laughs> Well, it I was said, funny. I gave you a compliment. I, I, I was, weight. That was your gift. I was inviting you. On. Thanks for the. I really appreciate that. I was inviting you on the channel, so I was like, "This will be funny if I just bring it up on the first video we film." <laughs> so yeah. Oh my god, I'm a bad friend. Well, that's okay. I'll just make sure not to wish you your you happy birthday in like a week or something, whenever your birthday. Is. Whenever it is. How you doing? I'm Callan, and this is Slap Tam. Today we're looking at the creepiest things that have ever been caught on live TV. But as always, before we dive in, remember to hit that subscribe button for more awesome, creepy content just like this. Get ready, cat. I'm ready. It's as creepy as his teeth were. I don't know if I can handle it. Oh, <laughs> That's why your love life is sad. Very unsettling during the telecast of an English sports program. As the host discusses a recent football match, a groundsman who appears to be wheeling equipment off the ground suddenly disappears. Ah. What? Whoa! What makes the footage even more mysterious is the fact that a short while later, a second man can also be seen disappearing from the ground. What? what? Whoa! It's like the when the footage the, first the purge is happening, like an apocalypse. What they had just seen, experts were initially stumped. However, some suggested that the disappearing groundsman might have just been an illusion created by some sort of video edit. Yeah. Despite this, many thought that Why? the did indeed show something paranormal. While some That's viewers creepy. were convinced that the camera had captured ghosts, it's difficult to know for sure without further information. What? What do you think? Does this clip really show proof of ghosts lurking inside this football stadium? I mean, did anyone report Another people go on, got missing at the football stadium? Right? Is that my answer? <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> I guess it was his like favorite job of his whole life. <laughs> yeah. The news channel reported on an 11-year-old boy from Spanish Town, Jamaica, who Spanish claimed Town. to have been haunted by a ghost. His family claimed that they prayed for him and even tried taking him to church, but said that the ghost would have followed and ended up causing havoc inside. It's a creepy picture. The clip begins as the boy is being interviewed by the reporter while sitting on a chair. Suddenly, he appears to be grabbed by some sort of unseen force from behind. Ooh. A woman, presumably his mother, quickly catches him before he's thrown the chair. <laughs> Whoa. He could have just tripped. The boy tells the news crew that he can see the ghost standing by a wall and walks over to stand next to it. Just as before, something appears to grab at the boy, this what? time pulling violently on his leg. What the hell? <gasps> that is that creepy. Was... The boy claims that the Whoa. ghost was actually a wow. friend of his who passed away four years prior. Oh, he man. He that it appeared to him one day and has been causing... Ooh, my nipples are hard. Since. Ooh, Even chills. <laughs> Not like turned on. <laughs> Fear has never made me feel that way. <laughs> <laughs> I got chills. <laughs> 
This footage certainly qualifies as one of the creepiest things caught on live TV. Legit creepy. Yeah, that's pretty creepy. That one creeped me out of us. Oh my god, yeah. yeah. Love to hear about it Whoa, it's movie. like it's like he's being that yanked. That's yeah. crazy. Oh my god. I'm usually a major skeptic, and that was like legit. This we got cat video was uploaded to Yorkshire Conspirator UFO's YouTube channel in May 2019. The footage what do homo sapiens do? Near the beginning of the video, there's a sudden flash in the sky. This is shortly followed by an orange coloured orb that slowly descends from above. Huh. It hovers for a few seconds before suddenly disappearing. The players don't huh. seem to notice the strange light as they continue their pre-match warm-ups. While several skeptics have noted that the descending light could simply belong to a drone, yeah. this theory doesn't explain how the object mm. could suddenly vanish. The lights turned so off. You think? On Has the drone. The actually captured an alien craft curiously <laughs> Debunked. The the well done, Cat. You're welcome. <laughs> In 2016, this mysterious clip first surfaced. Why does everyone keep disappearing on live TV? TV? What the hell's happening? <laughs> Camera still your soul. As the woman with the trolley exits the shot, the woman behind her mysteriously disappears. What? I didn't even Whoa. see it. What? What are you talking about? Play it again. When the clip was first uploaded to YouTube, it immediately went viral, racking up millions of views in the first few days. Whoa! <gasps> Whoa! Whoa. How'd that happen? Some labeling it as evidence of time travel. What? It's a little far fetched. As a jump. That was a leap for sure. And the woman's disappearance was simply a glitch in the matrix. What? However, several skeptics have also noted that the incident could simply be an optical illusion. Yeah. Created as both women walk out of the shot together. Oh, yeah. They oh, no. That oh, no. Way. That's no. I'm bullshit. No. Look, she's not even. Video, or could there be a more rational explanation for the woman? Well, yeah, she looks like she's turning and walking that way. Yeah. I could see it being that. I think it's that. Nope. <laughs> Stop ruining this. <laughs> okay, another, another, uh, a lot of sports related yeah, yeah. today. They're, they get lonely, man. Mysterious dark figure can be seen running through the stands. What the fuck is that? The figure moves <laughs> at extreme pace and appears to run straight through okay, several that's members of the crowd. Okay, crazy. That was li it's just live television. This footage Whoa. is long baffled experts who are at a loss to explain who or what the dark shape could be. A former soccer if player. Watch the Satan. Closely, Satan's the devil. Because all the gambling on the game, you know. <laughs> with a well defined running motion. Many viewers are convinced that the figure must be a ghost, with some even Definitely. suggesting that it might be a shadow person. Oh, well, a shadow <laughs> person <laughs> changes <laughs> everything. <laughs> something very unusual. It could just be a reflection. Has the camera really captured a ghost moving at great speed through the crowds of onlookers? Or is it possible that this clip is simply the result of some very clever video editing? I thought that was live TV. Huh. This creepy Reporter video disappears. In the world of love's Shapeshifter. Wait, cool. what? Is supposedly Another a clip one. taken from a report a shown on Spanish news. Ooh. The uploader claims that it could actually show proof that reptilian shapeshifters are living among us. Okay, what? let's see. Just as the reporter is finishing his story, he blinks, revealing what appears to be a second set of eyes. Ew. During the video, the uploader mentions that, as the reporter had just finished his interview, he might have thought that the camera had already been turned off, and for a brief moment lost his disguise. Yeah, but the play it all the way the through. the race is slowly being infiltrated by Can't a secret race of wizard people is certainly a controversial one, it certainly does have its supporters. <laughs> The theory mainly credited to former BBC television sports broadcaster. I think, I think you just caught him at a weird moment. These yeah. shifters are actually descendants of reptilian beings. Pretty sure I've looked like a reptilian being while sneezing. Them. Like the result mm. of reptilian breeding programs that have been taking place on Earth for at least two hundred thousand years. Sweet. Huh. Well, Many my ex is a snake, so. He has supporters hey. in nearly fifty <laughs> countries and often lectures in front of large crowds. In fact, a 2013 poll of Americans conducted by public policy polling indicated that 4% of all registered voters actually believed in David Icke's ideas. Hmm. While this clip certainly does appear I, to show something very unsettling, could it really show proof of an alien lizard infiltrator? 
Or is it more likely that That's the reporter's double eyes were caused by some sort of glitch in the footage? Yes. I, I'm thinking that it's one. the latter. <laughs> this is another piece of evidence that supports David Icke's theory that the Earth is indeed being overrun by lizard overlords. Things, these are very Whatever the case things. may be, it certainly does make for a very creepy video. One shapeshifter, world-dominating sure, overlords. I'm sure it's a glitch, guys. Yeah. Before we get to that, All right, number one. Look at some shots number one. Of alleged demonic possession caught live on TV in Thailand. Okay. Remember to hit that subscribe button and turn on channel notifications. Already done. With all our latest content. In July 2016, a model began to exhibit some very strange behaviour during a live interview on a Thai talk show. Tipawan Chapapuan told the host of the show that a spirit had attached itself to her during a recent vacation to the city of Rayong. In the clip, she explains that the ghost, known as a pop in Thai culture, has an insatiable hunger and at one point screams out, Bring me pig's blood. After explaining her story, Chapapong's demeanor suddenly changes as she appears to become possessed by the spirit. Are you sure she's not just the hangry? The demon then begins talking through her as she starts to act very strangely. After several attempts to convince the spirit what? to leave the girl, the host tries to place a necklace of Buddha around her neck. The act makes the woman recall in fear as she begins to shriek uncontrollably. What? The, the hell? host finally manages to get the necklace on her, and it immediately seems to silence the demonic voice. When the clip first Boy. appeared, it immediately went viral across Thailand, racking up millions of views in just the first few days. Opinions were divided about its authenticity, however, with some viewers suggesting that the woman appeared to be acting. Yeah. Despite so this, what Kat was doing when she walked through this door. Victim of a demonic possession. <laughs> <laughs> I do it all the time. 2020 has done a number on you, guys. Exactly Absolutely. Right. No. And the host is saying during the interview. I, that's what I do on my dates. Yeah. <laughs> just like that. I'm just like. Who's willing to marry this? <laughs> Thank you, slept him. Thank you. Have you ever wanted to hook up with a girl who's acting like he's <laughs> demonically possessed? I can do that for you. <laughs> <laughs> Probably. I mean, that girl right there was a model, apparently. <laughs> model and someone who went to acting school. That's and it's paid off in wonders. <laughs> she got to go viral. Ooh. The video is creepiest things caught on live TV. In terms of creepy, I would say, yeah, most of them, even the ones that I'm like, I don't buy it, are still creepy. Most of it, I can give it that. Now the question becomes, what is real and what is not real? So creepy, yeah, get that out of the way. They all are. Indeed. Real or not, this is where Kat comes in, Mythbuster style. Boom, boom, boom. She goes in and goes, light turned off, glitch. That's all, morons. That's End of video. <laughs> That's all she does. <laughs> but you got creeped out by a couple of things I wasn't expecting. That's why I like bringing you on for these because you're very skeptical. You're a skeptical yeah. human and I'm I'm like little Catholic boy on the inside who's like, oh my God, everything's real. The apocalypse is coming. I mean, it is, but... But, but you <laughs> <Still>. know. <laughs> How do you explain this live TV one with the person, dis the first one they showed us, with the live TV one? With this, is, this one is tough. This is one of the ones that got me, you know? But I... I would say <clears throat> sometimes you see stuff and it Getting is ready to talk are you? <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> <clears throat> okay, I did a kegel. All right, let's do this. <laughs> Nothing to do with anything. I just do that when I clear my throat. I understand. Okay, people just walking around a stadium and disappearing. What is this? Definitely a ghost. Let's move on. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Knock that one out. My best guess would be some kind of a, a hmm, some kind of, okay, this one has to be, I have to think about it. Like it could, wow. some kind of a camera glitch nah, is. I've never is seen a, you so stumped. I'm, I'm legitimately stumped. I feel like I don't know enough about cameras. I want to say it's a lighting thing because I've seen like the orbs. The orbs you can pretty myth, myth bust pretty easily because there's usually some kind of a lighting elsewhere in the frame and it like bounces off the camera sure, sure. lens or whatever and makes the orb. I imagine something similar is happening with the people in the stadium. I mean, I feel like 
it would have been a big deal if people were disappearing from the stadium, though. That's, you know? Well, they're not people disappearing. They're ghosts. They're ghosts who are appearing oh, they're on ghosts camera who are appearing. and disappearing. Oh, see, I believe that. <laughs> <laughs> With this kid, though, he could have some kind of medical condition to which I don't know any of the proper terminology. I'm not going to even talk about what it, didn't it look could like, possibly be. <laughs> it didn't look like a medical condition to me. At most, it might be that he's, like, really good at physical stuff like the moonwalk you know how michael jackson was good at yeah. the moonwalk this is like a different thing that's similar like that where they're doing something physical with their body that's pretty impressive causes the optical illusion that they're being pulled away but I, that seems far-fetched to me this one looked pretty real this looks real especially when the little boy is getting yanked i know the first one with the chair really got you wait 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 play that in reverse again from okay. where she's pulling him right okay this way. What if it's reversed video? What are you talking about? That'd be hard to like just throw the kid into that position where he's just relaxed. You can't just re I mean, reverse him into that. Not if you rehearse it. If you rehearse it, you can do a lot of things. Like have you watched ballet, swing dancing, salsa dance? Like there's a lot of stuff you could do if you rehearse it. I'm just saying. So I say real. Shut this shit down, cat. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> All right, I, I already covered this. I, I think I think you're right. The UFO watching the football game. Hey, I don't know why a UFO would be watching a football game, but I mean it's fun. I mean, yeah. Like this, uh, <laughs> we need an assessment of humans. <laughs> Let's go to a, a kids football game. <laughs> Wait, it's like women's soccer too. <laughs> Yo, is it? Yeah, those are women. Oh God, no. The aliens shouldn't be going to women's soccer games. You know what? You know what I mean? <laughs> they're comparing men and women, and they're going like, wow, the women are better at. Soccer than the men. That's I don't crazy. think the UFO was thinking that. <laughs> Why don't they get paid I don't more? Think, I don't think the alien was thinking that, Cat. <laughs> they should really get paid equal to or greater than I'm the male. I'm pretty sure he was players. like, they are the inferior race. <laughs> <laughs> and then cancel. You're canceled, Greg. I'm taking your channel over. No, oh, I know. I'm, I'm, that's what I'm sending Cat up for today. It's the only way to get justice. <laughs> He's going to send me a pile of comic books this big times seven. <laughs> this one in the airport, the only reason I believe it's optical illusion is because it looks like she's talking to her, right? Yeah, she's talking to her. And, and this then... would be a big deal if like some fucking like my friend disappeared in the middle see, of me talking okay, to her. Okay, I'm looking at her face. Okay, I'm gonna go frame by frame here, right? Okay, this is super forward, slow forward. for you guys. Make my editing life so much more fun. Look, okay, you see her jacket? So she is turning She's turning in the direction as if she is walking with the woman. If anything, she walked out at the same time as her and but, the camera just caught it. Ah, uh, come on, man. <laughs> I think it's that. That's like too perfect. You can't even see her through like this girl's ponytail. If she's standing closer than you think, then this woman is gonna be taking up a pretty big amount of space on the camera. It just depends on how far apart they're actually standing. And if this has some kind of a fisheye lens, that could also affect. I, I think you're wrong. She definitely time traveled. <laughs> <laughs> Just, I love how they just jumped from, from, oh man, this girl might have disappeared because she's a, a warlock. And then all of a sudden they're like, time travel. Evidence, time travel. There's not even time in this. So the soccer one, another soccer one. See, men's soccer. Clearly this shadow figure or ghost must be related to the alien. He was scoping out men's soccer and he got very <laughs> excited and was starting to run with the team. He's like, I'm just so energized, but I'm, all this masculine all energy. All this masculine energy, because the female's <laughs> under-delivered. This one also got me. I was pretty stumped. The best I can say is probably some kind of camera glitch, which I know is so unsatisfying. It's unsatisfying to me, too, much like my love life. Okay. Why can't you just <laughs> stick to the topic? <laughs> Why? No, I'm sorry. Why it's, can't you? My explanation for this is very unsatisfying. Much unsatisfying. I think it's because this shadow much represents like, your love life right here. Much like Greg. Oh, ah, his girlfriend. Okay. <laughs> See, if it was a camera glitch, I would have. we would have seen something like mirroring it somewhere else in the frame for it to have been like some kind of a light thing, so. I just don't. Oh, I, just, I just don't buy it. I think it's a ghost. It's a shadow. What else would it be? Come on. What? what wait, 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 wait. What, oh, what wait, 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 wait. Oh my God. Look, hey. Look, there's another one. Oh shit. There's <gasps> two. You're right. They didn't even point that one out. <gasps> yeah, they're you're, moving at the you're same right. time. You're right, dude. Sorry, don't sue me for putting my hand on your shoulder like a bro there. Yeah, they're moving at the same time, which is bizarre. And that makes me wonder what, okay. 
Mm -hmm. There it is, over there. Yeah, I know, I see it. Moving. Everyone turn the camera off. <laughs> What's up? There's something here. Oh, good catch. Ah, We've contributed to the video now. <laughs> this reporter is definitely a shapeshifter 100%. part of the reptilian race. <laughs> Everybody's a reptile. Oh my God, this is proof. Let's call it. Let's call, <laughs> it's call it. it. It's call it a day. American Everything Zen. else is a skeptical thing, but this. This one's true. <laughs> definitely a reptile race. That's gotta be, just be a glitch. Yeah. No reptile would be stupid enough to just like fucking shapeshift out. What was he like? Getting tired? Was he couldn't? Look, could he not maintain look, his human look, form long look, enough? Look, okay, <laughs> look. All right. See, either reptiles are smart enough to rule the world, or they're stupid enough to show that they exist. <laughs> yeah. Like you can't be both. They if can't they be... rule the world, they're not gonna do this. They're gonna be... exactly. Thank you. If you're on, cam... especially for a reporter, he knows they're recording and that's live TV. He wouldn't just shapeshift out. No, they know better. They're smarter than this. They're reptiles, Unless you guys. Unless he's the one dumb reptile in the bunch. <laughs> they're like, we're just gonna put him on the camera. <laughs> yeah, Reporters are dumb, right? Like, they're, they're dumb. Sort of a camera. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody else is like, in, in their prime ministers, it's like Justin Trudeau. The more you break it down, the more I the more I believe you, Kat. Yeah, I'm not gonna believe this L. Ron Hubbard dude. <laughs> no. <laughs> like, all right. Yeah, that's mostly a bunch of anti-Semitic stuff I've heard. Not mm -hmm. to make it serious. Anyway, moving on. <laughs> Keep politics out of this political discussion that's happening in this video, Kat. <laughs> this one, acting, 100%. It's gotta be acting. There's, there's nothing, it's creepy. I, I can imagine you're watching a live TV segment and you're like, what's this chick doing? I think what was unclear to me was that she come on to do some other interview and then this started happening? Or did she come on because she's like, I'm possessed by a demon? I don't know this, but I will tell you that there are a lot of movies where people play characters who are being, I don't know, devoured by zombies or people are playing zombies. And if an actor can pretend to be a zombie, then an actor can present, pretend to be possessed. So- What would be her goal here though? They hired her because they want to make a viral video. But wouldn't her career be done after this? Or is like her whole career, you know, one of those, like she writes a book or she becomes this inspirational role model of like, how I overcame my demon possession. Look, yeah. people are willing to do stuff if you pay them enough. So they're probably like, Wait, look, we really want our show to go viral more, have this publicity stunt. We will pay you a million dollars to come and do this. And she's like, I could use a million dollars. And she did it. In Thailand? Sure. Whatever, yeah, I, whatever. Don't know, I don't know anything about Thailand's currency, so I don't know where that tone came from. <laughs> I mean, I mean, whatever dollar amount is is the amount that would make someone be like, I'm doing it. That's probably what they offered. But she has such a good modeling career to be invited onto a live TV station. I, mean, I imagine all, all those models with hummingbird tattoos right here. Man, but she's really committed. You got to give it to her though. It takes and balls. Great actor. It takes balls to go on live TV and do this. For sure, has balls. But it also seems fake. Yes. It seems really fake, especially this guy who's just like. All right, let me handle this demon possession. He <laughs> this, just happens this, to have this reporter who's like, hey, it's happening. Let me, let me go in here. Let's not bring an expert in for this. He happens to have the amulet, by the way. Yeah. He happens to have the Buddha amulet that is gonna take care of this whole problem. Never mind that in the Exorcist they have to call an expert. This TV show host has the special amulet. Convenient. Too convenient. <laughs> I'll let you have that moment. Okay. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, what did you think is real or not, man? Only one video shot with you. We are 30 minutes into filming. My <laughs> God, out of the norm for me. Guys, subscribe to The Real Rejects. Click that notification bell. Subscribe to Slap Ham's channel. And also, check out Cat Alvarado's podcast, yes. Villains of History. Villains of History. And uh, you're doing a fundraiser, are I, we not? I am. It's called Laugh Across America. It is a fundraiser for the Biden campaign. It's a show. It's a 12-hour Zoom comedy show. You don't have to watch the whole thing. Just watch whatever you want. You get a passcode to watch the entire Zoom comedy show. And uh, all you have to do is donate to the Biden campaign at the, the link below that he'll include. In the description box. <laughs> It'll be in the description box. It's not just... <laughs> <laughs> Donate here. Yeah. <laughs> no, All right. don't, don't, don't. No, um, no, no. Hmm. And Patreon of the Day shout out. <laughs> Deontay W. Tongue Punch Fart Box. Now, if there's anything I've ever experienced while being live 
on a live stream, <laughs> and that is definitely creepy. It's whenever we shout out one of our top patrons right now, Deontay W. Tongue Punch Fart Box. Nothing like saying, hey, big thanks to Tongue <laughs> Punch, punch Fart, fart box. box. Always feels good. <laughs> yep. That's the kind of supporters we have. Mm -hmm. And if anyone's a proper representative of the kind of support we have, it's someone with a title like you. It is certainly creepy to know where you like to put your tongue, what you like to punch to create a fart and have a little box encompassed around your face. Deontay. You rock our asses, Deontay, with your tongue punch and fart box and magic. Now normally this is where I go, but in all seriousness, and then I get sincere, I don't think you want that. Nah. <laughs> We're done. Thanks, Deontay. Later, Deontay. <laughs> You're the best. Love you. Keep farting in people's boxes and punching them in the butthole. <laughs>